My enemies are many. My equals are none. In the shade of olive trees, they said Italy could never be conquered. In the land of pharaohs and kings, they said Egypt could never be humbled. In the realm of forest and snow, they said Russia could never be tamed. Now they say nothing. They fear me, like a force of nature, a dealer in thunder and death. I say, I am Napoleon. I am Emperor. Welcome noble partners to another Let's Play of mine and the game we are playing today is Napoleon Total War. Guys, uh, in the last part of uh, the Shogun 2 which I recorded about an hour ago, I said something about doing a Let's Play of Mafia 1 or uh, uh, Medieval 2 Crusades. but then this game came to my mind and uh, I certainly remembered that I haven't played Napoleon Total War uh, with Austrian faction and uh, it is no surprise that I haven't played as the Austrians. I don't know, it's something about them that repels me. So I have uh, played as the British, the Russians, I love them, and the Russians as well. I didn't want to uh, modify the game and play as the some uh, Ottomans or something like that, or Spain even. Oh, Spain would have been a good option. But anyways, that is that. Uh, we are here and I am playing with the Austrians. And uh, I would try and uh, dominate the world before the allotted time, which I seem to do in all of my let's play. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. The campaign difficulty is the hardest. Uh, okay, uh, it doesn't uh, really matter because it's not that hard. If one plays sensibly and does not get scared. Battle difficulty, I'm going to keep it on normal. And there's a reason for that. Because, well, first, I'm not going to play any battles. Second, this normal difficulty would come in handy when I do the naval battles. Because I have done the naval battles on hard and the hardest. And the AI just fucks you over and one shot of their ship I mean two or three shots just uh, pulverize your ships and they rout extremely quickly so I'm going to keep it on normal and uh, let's check out the game option everything is set the CPU moves would come in handy although I've planned to skip the interval between uh, the turns so you guys won't have to uh, See that bitch ass stuff. Uh, Alright, partners, everything is done. We are ready and poised to begin this brand new Let's Play. So, yeah, let us begin our new and epic journey. Okay. No respect for the sovereignty of the independent Italian states and is now directly threatening the Habsburg controlled Italian dominions. Together with Great Britain and Russia, Austria must deal with the little would-be emperor before he brings all Europe under his yoke. While the Royal Navy protects the seas and limits French trade capabilities, 
Austrian forces must march on treacherous Bavaria and Württemberg and remind them of their loyalties to the Holy Roman Empire. Meanwhile, Russian forces are mobilized and will march west to support you. At the same time, to the north, Russia grows stronger every day. As they have remained neutral, you cannot know for sure what they plan to do and must be prepared for any eventuality. Prussia currently holds Silesia, a former Austrian possession, and they may be planning to bring other German-speaking territories under their control. Great. Thank God that bitch shut her mouth because I was growing tired of her slutty voice. I might add. <laughs> Anyways, partners, this is great. We are here, ready. And let's see what can we do. Hmm. I am tempted to take care of uh, uh, Munich, Bavaria. And uh, that is exactly what I am going to do. If I can capture Bavaria and hold the line here while I uh, take care of my empire and optimize it and all that stuff, that would be great. Or Mm, I think I should do it because, well, it would uh, create a buffer between me and Napoleon. So that's great. Let's do it. Yeah. But first, first things first. And that is saving in the bloody solid slot and putting three exclamation marks. Remember, guys, <laughs> this is very important. If you do not do it, you may go to the hellfire. So, okay. Austria it is. And uh, let us do trade with the Ottomans. Although I'm sure they are going to betray me and uh, declare war on me, motherfuckers. I mean, can they be any more? Pathetic or should I say foolish? Okay, Portugal. Hmm. They are a stable faction. Let's do trade with them. Can I do oh yeah, Denmark. They are cool as well. Mecklenburg. Hmm. Sweden. Hmm. Sweden or Denmark? I am tempted to go with Denmark because uh, well, they are a trading faction so great Denmark it is then it appears that I still can uh, trade with Mecklenburg Mecklenburg whatever I have no respect for this faction because when I play as Prussia, as I very often do, they are the first to go or the first to get fucked by Sarka Kababu's holy wrath. <laughs> so yeah, that's that. Our trading is done and we are at war with France and Spain. Cool! Oh no, uh, let's uh, destroy this bitch and uh, construct another. Yes, sir. Uh, what's that? The university. Moment, and uh, let's march on to Bavaria and put them out of their motherfucking misery. Die, die, motherfucking Bavarians! Sarkaka Babu has arrived. Oh fuck, motherfucker! What the fuck was that? <laughs> I mean, the odds were in my favor, man. Fuck. The AI has fucked me in my first encounter. Fuck this shit. Fuck. Anyways, let's retreat. 
I am tempted to uh, reload and uh, I mean deal with the AI with the only tactic uh, it knows which is cheating or immorality but <laughs> no worries there we'll, we'll pull through uh, and uh, I should destroy this stuff and make a tax office what is this manufacturing yes I need my economy to rise up okay let's try and assassinate this bitch Oh no, my agent got detected. Okay, I need this army fully stacked. So, yeah, my lord. Uh, what can I recruit? Fusiliers and uh, land bear. Okay. Man, this was a disaster. I lost so many forces. That is fucked up. No worries. I'm going to assemble my forces here. And uh, for the time, I'm going to assume that I'm not going to be attacked from my eastern border. But that assumption, assumption is a foolish one. But no worries. The bigger threat is French. So, okay, my uh, everything which could be done this time is done. So, and done. Partner, the French forces have arrived to finish me off, and it appears that I am along with two generals of mine and these forces about to die. So, let us watch me get. Raped. Oh no! It hurts so much. Welcome back, guys. And hey, hey, check that out. My spy uh, assassinated this target. <laughs> Actually, I was selecting this spy so that I can upgrade its traits. And uh, <laughs> I just remembered that. That was another game. Hmm. Partners? Uh, where was I? Actually, my forces are moving here. Two generals are dead. And, uh... Shit! It was a horrible start, man. Horrible. I mean, as horrible -er as it could get. So, and to put icing on the cake, I didn't put anything on the research and I lost one turn as well. So, but I suck. No worries. <laughs> Everything would be done, and let me check. Uh, oh no, uh, lower classes. Now they are okay. And who are these? Moravia. They are not happy. So they should be okay. This time. I need naval forces and since I do not have any uh, dock I cannot construct any. What are these? Light infantry. They should move in with this army as well. And. Uh, Mm -hmm. 
yes what is this market what should i construct i think i should uh, uh, construct a supply depot industrial center okay supply depot in austria is good and uh, i should construct a market here because well it would come in handy in the future although it is foolishness to uh, construct a supply depot in your home region but we are on the defensive initially so that's that everything is cool dude so and done on second thought let us proceed and uh, defeat this rene nef nef small army and if i got defeated in this battle then that's a crying motherfucking shame Oh yes! Let's speed his ass up a bit and uh, retreat and appear, it appears that uh, French have taken over Bavaria and they are marching towards Innsbruck What? Okay I'll move there in the next turn or should I move there now? I think better sooner than later. <laughs> Why am I wasting you guys' time so? And turn, partners. Disaster! The Ottoman Empire has declared war on my ass. Fuck that shit. England have de uh, declined to join me in the war, so my alliance with them is broken as well. Why did I invite them in the first place? So foolish of me. Whew. <laughs> Partners, this uh, campaign is not going well at all. And here is our friend Napoleon. But I think I better retreat my tools and retreat, move these tools, or maybe I should move them here. And it was a foolish mistake, so but, anyways. Partners, I'll tell you what, I haven't, uh, my mind is not totally into this campaign, so uh, I think I'm going to stop playing uh, this campaign right now and I would continue when my head is straight, actually I've watched too, too many movies and I also have also played the Shogun 2, uh, last footage of Shogun 2 as well and i have done some other stuff so my head is spinning and i'm not able to concentrate fully so i think i would stop this and return i think we have uh, started a new journey uh, first step has been taken and do not worry it may appear that we are in a fix and we certainly are in one hell of a fix but we would pull through and uh, take this bitch ass faction which is Austria and uh, about Austria Austrian forces uh, Frederick II the Great once said that Austria's army exists to provide victories to Prussia and the French <laughs> so he was quite right but uh, Napoleon came and went. Louis XIV came and went. Prussia remained a pussy till Bismarck arrived. So 
but it was Austria who remained and thrived and dominated the Central Europe for so many centuries. So I think they had such uh, some muscle uh, which sustained their power. So anyways, we our goal to is to galvanize and uh, strengthen Austria and crush Napoleon and all others which are standing in our way. So that's that. And uh, I thank you guys for watching this uh, episode and I would see you in the next one. So till then, take care and goodbye partners.